In this video I am going to show you how you can create animated map in film or IX, with an animated and colorful curved line. Like this one. Hello video editors, my name is Sali Ali, welcome to Sali Tutorials. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Dude, I want to inform you about my other YouTube channel. Named Royal Sali. On this channel I bring standard content regarding mobile, computer and technology. I hope this channel of mine is also very helpful for you guys. I request all the followers of Sali Tutorials to support me on this channel too. Thank you all in advance. The link to visit Royal Sali's YouTube channel link is in the description. So let's move on to the video. To create this travel map, I have a video and a picture in this folder. If you need it, I have provided a link to both of them in the description. So dear friends you can download it for free. I drag and drop them both into the media of Filmora. Then we need Photoshop. I open Photoshop. We have to open the same picture in Photoshop. Go to the file above the elevator side and click on it. And then on the open. Select and open the picture of your respective map. After opening the picture inside Photoshop, select the pan tool from the tools on the left side. Now with the pan tool, we need to draw either a straight line, a zigzag line, or a curved line. So here we draw the curved line from left to right. So you can see that we have drawn a curved line. Next, select the pencil tool. And in the colors below. Choose the yellow color in the color box above. And in the color box below, select the red color. In the brush tool settings above, keep the brush size to 40px. And keep the hardness to 100. And select the second number in the brush shape. Then make the opacity 100%. and keep the flow at 100% and keep the mode normal and then come down and create a new blank layer in the layers select the path tab above the layer And click on the stroke path with brush at the bottom of the path tab. So you can see that the line we drew on the pen tool turned into a yellow stroke. Now we will change the color boxes. So move the red color box up, and the yellow color box down. And the size of the brush will be 25px. Go back to the path tab and click the stroke path with brush at the bottom of the path tab. Now press the enter key from the keyboard and then the control plus D button. So now you can see that we've got a yellow stroke at the bottom and we've got a red stroke at the top. So with that we drew a beautiful curved line. Next, go to the Layers tab. And right click on the mapped background layer below, and then on the Delete layer. And then click Yes. Then we have to save this line. Go to the file on the upper left side, and click on it. And then click Save. 
The format of this file is PNG. And whatever name you want to give to the picture, save it. So we have saved that PNG picture in this folder. Now we have to drag and drop this picture in the media. Now drag and drop the map picture we have into the track below the timeline. And then in the track above, drag and drop the PNG line. And then go to transition and click on it. By scrolling down. Drag and drop the erase slide transition onto the picture on the top line. Increase the duration of the transition to the duration of the picture. So you can see that we have a slide erase animation on the line picture above the picture on the map. Now go to export and export this video once. Close this page. And clear the timeline by deleting everything from the timeline. Then go to media and open the media tab. And the video we exported should be dragged and dropped in the media. And drag it into the track below the timeline. So I want to slow down the line animation in this video. To do this, select the video and click on speed tool. So I slow down this video 0.5x. So you can see, I have a slow line animation at the top of the map in this video. Then select the video and click crop tool. And croup the black area around the video. And cropped it to a 16.9 ratio. OK. Place the playlist where the line animation in the video starts. Double click on the video. Go to Animation and click on it. And then on Customize. Now we need to add keyframes to our video according to the line animation. So today we create a unique kind of keyframe animation. First of all I will add some empty keyframes on this video. And then add zoom in and zoom out animation, just keep watching the video. Remember that the place where the line moves is to be brought to the center, and it has to be shown. There is no such thing as a difficult task, if you look at it and understand. You can adjust these keyframes the way I do, because this is a great way to put a lot of keyframes and make adjustments. Just keep watching the video.
To make this map more realistic, you can overlay a video of a plane etc on it. So I have this video in the media, if you want I have given the link in the description you can download it for free from there. I drag and drop this video into the track above the timeline. Adjust the length of this video according to the video below. Double click on the video above. Go to the transform tab. If you need to flip the video you can flip it from here. Then click on the compositing tab at the bottom. And here's just the opacity of this video. OK. So with that we have created a great animated map. I hope this video is helpful to you. To watch more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. See you with a new video. Take care of yourself, thanks.